so let's see someone nicely in the middle for a start here. Looks like uh, quite a lot of people missed the start or either stopped on purpose, not sure really which one. So it looks like Corentin De La Rue with a hole shot. Pretty solid hole shot as well. And we have Logan Deepare, we have Victor Nikot, I think that Frank Kastermans as well, close to the top. So it looks like Kastermans is trying to make a pass here for second I believe. Trying to pass Victor Nikot. Oh, Nikot's going over the burn but not going down which is the main thing. Which you don't want to go down in front of this hill. So it's really hard to get up and get some speed, especially on a 250. <laughs> so looks like we have current and Delarue still in lead. Closely followed by, I believe that's Matt Birkin. No, Jeremy Seabolt. So Seabolt actually. Oh shit. So I think he's going to try and race this if he stays in second because I guess he'd be pretty happy about that. At least I, I know I will. Oh shit. No. Oh, he's going down. Uh, <laughs> not a surprise, honestly. No, but you did pretty good last week in RF, right? Well, I was doing alright. Yeah. Oh, looks like Grant so Tiller really and Casterman sweeping it different ways. Really nice. And Frank Casterman actually go to the inside and takes over the position. So really nice there with Frank taking over the lead. I want to know where Dennis Fjellberg is because he had a terrible time last week, being way buried in the start. He was in about seventh, and then he went down in front of me. Oh. There's you, nicely pink gear. Yeah. Chase the salon. Here's Dennis Fjellberg. Looks like he's in about 10th, 9th. And it looks like he's really trying to get people early in this race because now everybody's stacked together. This is the time where you can really make passes. So where uh, looks like he's going to try to pass 79 of Chase the Cell. Looks like Dennis is going to the inside going smart to so not go down. And Dennis can make a pretty good comeback last week from pretty much being last in the start. Oh, passing on the inside. Looked so smooth. Full speed down the hill. And this is the turn really, really... Somebody not seeing the live stream. So looks like Castmas is still in the lead. Try Starting to pull away from Victor Nicol and Quentin De La Rue. I mean, it's still... So... Frank Kasselman's still maintaining the lead. Thanks there, JT. Another shout out to you. Miss you at the forum. And this is a really tricky section on the 250, you really gotta time it and be on the gas to make a triple. Still not as tight as last year's section. Someone says that Frank will crash, um, I don't know, he looks really solid to me, I don't know. We have Victor Nikot still in second, then it's Fjellberg now up to third, so he's matching his number, redeeming himself from last week. Oh, tripling f out there, that was, that was awesome. That was really awesome to triple, triple, double, especially on a 250, at least, I think that.
Uh, am I shouting? No, I don't think that was me. So, how much do we have? We have 2.5, so we have about. Fjellbur has about. 6 seconds up to the lead. Not too much, really easily doable. Quentin Delarue dropping backwards in 5th. Let's see here, trying to get around. Let's see who it is, Chase the Cell. Matt Birkin behind him and Logan Deepady. So that would be interesting to see. And Matt Birkin seems to be riding the red background or something. Not really sure. Probably riding his RF bike. Oh, yeah. Lying to us here on EMF. Oh, Matt Birkin to the inside, nicely passing Grunty LaRue, trying to get off the chase to sell. Oh, Logan Deep had it, slightly crashing in a turn. So let's see what we can find Jeremy Seabolt. Well. 12, battling with Matthias Liedmann and Robin Flyer. Robin Flyer, oh, first of the group. Throwing it sideways, Matthias Liedmann, a little more spare on the whip, trying to not go down. Frank Kesselman still maintaining a nice lead. Victor Nico second, Dennis Fjellberg third, but you can see that Dennis Fjellberg is slowly starting to creep up on these guys. So I think that we will have a battle on our hands really soon. Okay, so I wonder if the stream is working because mine actually stopped. That was strange. So we still have the battle for first here, just getting closer by the minute. Looks like Victor has a really good drive head until he popped his front, popped a wheelie. So the battle for first really closes up and it looks like Frank Kesselman so starting to get a little bit nervous because he's dropped the pace a little bit. Because Victor and Dennis as well has started to get up close. Oh, Frank Kesselman's really starting to make mistakes. See that? Looks like Dennis made a pass on Victor. Well, I was gone for a few seconds. It's a really nice battle here up front. That's what we want to see, and I think Dennis is pretty much going to run away with it this time. I want to see here because Dennis is going to the outside while Frank is going to the inside. And it's going 3-3, free, free, and Frank is going 2-3-3, three, three, and it looks like 3-3-2 three, three, is way faster. So that is really what you want to go for, triple out of the turn, like a lot of time. There's some really mature discussions going on in the chat as well, in the game. Can't really read what's said, but a lot of nice words. It looks like Dennis is starting to extend his lead a little bit. Starting to pull away from Frank and Victor. Not by much, but second and about.
Oh, Dennis is almost missing the rut there. Going out of the berm. It looks like Victor made a pass on Frank as well. Oh, Dennis did crash, probably going over the bars, catching a rut or something, so I will leave him. Matt Birkin passed as well, so Dennis will be down to fourth now. Just going to do this super quickly. So I'm gonna go on board here with Dennis and see if he can close up to the pack in front with Matt Birkin now. Frank and Victor. I don't really know what's happening to the stream. At least my computer messes up. Looks like people disconnecting as well, so not sure what's going on there if that's rage quit or something. Now this has almost cut the gap by a second now in about 20 seconds of time riding, so that's really something. I don't know, something about my stream. Can I see? Thanks, Joe. Appreciate it. And Dennis is almost right on the back on frag now, that is. It's really starting to creep up. I don't know what I just said. Looks like Matt has made a pass on Frank as well. That was Victor crashing, so first place just crashed. Looks like Matt Birkin is our new leader. Followed by Frank Hasman, so third Dennis Fjellberg. So it's not too much here. We are 12 minutes in out of 25 minutes, and then it's another one lap. And I think this is really favorable if you can get inside rut. I believe that's faster, but you really gotta jump sideways as well. Oh, Frank Esmond's going down. Getting quick up though. So now it's a battle between first, or not really yet, but probably going to be if Dennis Fjellberg can catch up to Matt Birkin. There's a few seconds ahead. When I go through the pack, you can see we have Clement Lana in fifth. Nice riding by him. Chase the Cell still up top, sixth place. Robin Flyer still up there as well, seventh. Logan Deepady dropping a little bit, eighth. Linus Goranson ninth. Jeremy Seabold tenth. Sebastian Jost eleventh. Matthias Liedman twelfth. Lusunberg thirteenth. So two teammates in a row. Phil Bull. Ben Seberg. That's the guy that's transferred teams. He was it was ATL last week. Got picked up by Atlas Racing as well as uh forgetting so was another guy as well. I believe Jenik Muller changed teams as well, so Jenik went to Oh man my I think Jenik's pri uh, private here. Yes, can they change go to Vulcan or something? Or Skull can they? Oh, I'm not sure. No idea. Anthony Burnout, John Roger, found Jenik Muller here in 18th. I believe he got second overall last week. So, not really where I expect to see him. Expect to see Jenik up top, really. So Matt Birkin still in the lead, Frank Esman second, Victor Nicot, then it's, then it's Fjellberg, so Fjellberg must have gone down because he was about 4 seconds off of Kasman's just a few moments ago. Now he's back to fourth, so he must have gone down at least once. Nicely going to the inside, wide open to make the double. This is really tricky because there's a rut on the inside and it's really hard to know how you should go if you go in, over, etc. 
Stun is getting sideways or jump trying to catch Victor. We still have Matt Birkin out with a few seconds. I believe it's about seven seconds at the moment. Going into the turn of the finish straight. It's a really nice riding by these guys here. Nicely making the triple, everyone's going to the outside. So no split lanes here, and here's the time where you can pretty much make up a few seconds. As Dennis does here, he goes to the outside, triples in, instead of triple AO, messed it up. So I believe he's going to lose a little bit of time, not too much. Going back, find Clement Lana a few seconds back, chase the cell, still maintaining place. And we have Robin Flyer, Logan Deeper is Logan Deeper. I really expected him to be a little bit up higher since I believe he's the defending champion. Not too sure, but I believe yeah, so. Yes. Yeah. And I believe if, if you are a reigning champion, I believe you should be up front battling. So I don't know really if the other guys stepped it up or you just haven't found a flow. So battling it out with Robin Flyer, going downhill, so see it looks like both of them is about the same pace downhill. Logan scrubbing a little bit uphill, making up a little bit of ground actually. Okay, so someone is calling. So we have Al Al Hello. Hey, so we have Alana's with us as well. RIP! That time down, tabbed out my game. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Wait, I'm just I'm getting used to it. You rage quit? Wait. What, what happened to you? Do you rage quit or something? Because I saw you disconnect. Apparently nothing. It looks like Matt Birkin is just flying away with this. He has 12 seconds lead on lap 9, that's pretty big. So Victor Nikot still second, followed by Dennis Fjellberg. So Dennis is really starting to close up here. Getting around Frank Kessmans as well. It's, it's okay now. Yeah. Like, uh, I left because I have 15. GPS, so if I have it every race, I don't really see a point to big point yeah. to racing. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna leave a mix simulator till I get a new computer. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, nationals is quite heavy to run as well, and you gotta see the bumps yeah. and shit. So 15 <laughs> frames per second isn't much. Yeah. So I can't play with that lag. Like. Yeah. It got stuck sometimes, so. I'm really not can't see a point racing because I'm getting mad. Yeah. In, in in the back. You can join me in commenting instead. Yeah, I will. Nice. Now I'll try Moto too, but if it goes the same, uh, then my decision is to leave until I get a new computer. Yeah. So everything depends on second motor. Yeah. Well, it looks like Dennis Felberg is really catching Victor Nikot. He actually passed. Right when he said it. It's like uh, I'm watching your stream on the page, so I'm commenting depending on this. I'm not in game, like I'm oh. watching your stream on Twitch. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was Ricky the Koiper changing from. I believe it was ATL to Atlas. So. Yeah, that was my bad. I just got a blank out. So, yeah, um, thanks uh, for Ricard for correcting me. You did something to streams or something? What? Because, uh, like, uh, when it was streaming Supercross, yeah. I couldn't watch it because it, it keeps talking, like, every five seconds, but now I'm watching it perfectly. Yeah, I, I mean, I'll... I had it, like, ten minutes ago, it stuck for me all the time, but I don't think that's actually my fault. It's something between... 
my ISP on Twitch or something, I read a little bit about it and it was not really anything I could control because some Supercross events went so smooth while other ones just wouldn't work. Yeah, like I'm watching your stream for like 10 minutes Yeah, and uh, I hadn't seen anything wrong. Oh, that's really good. What is that sound? That's oh. my dog playing with a toy. Oh. Any, any better? Yeah. So, we have a battle here for, I believe it's fourth between Clement Lana and Frank Kasmans, and Clement just went around. Then there's a lapper. That is. I can't see what it is. It looks like a Suzuki at least. The 81 perhaps. Going down, we find Robin Flyer and Chase the Cell. Pretty close together. Looks like there could be a nice battle. What do you guys think of the track this week? I like it a lot. Like, I, I, I became kind of boring. Like lazy, non boring. I yeah. became lazy because I, I really lazy to qualify, and I did like five races, six, six races or something. Yeah. So. Yeah, and uh, I think it's kind of good. It's fun, but you need to practice like a lot if you want to get uh, smooth riding. Yeah, but I think it's a lot easier than last year's because last year was just really hard to me at least. I will I will post your stream link to my pages. Maybe some more people go. Yeah, sure. We're watching a battle here between Robin Flyer and Chase Cell. Robin Flyer has the Spot for Chase. So let's go on board here and see. Nicely whipped by Chase and Robin as well. I think they're pretty much equal pace, so it's anyone's game at this point. Oh, Chase actually doubling that. I'm not sure if that took Robin down or if he actually made a mistake himself. Oh, Robin Flyer almost going down. Going back for the pack, we can find Matthias Liedemann, Jeremy Siebel, Linus Goranson, and Sebastian Jossel. Here's about for 10th. Who's going to get in the top 10th? So we have Linus Goranson, the 267, and we have Sebastian Jossel, 791. If we go even further back, we can find Ul Sundberg, Jacob Nora. So Nora is actually 12th, 13th. Not really where I expect to see him. I expect him to be a little bit more up front, but still a nice riding. Kemi Lilo, Anthony Bernard, Janik Muller, Ben Seberg. So it was more. So I believe that's pretty much about the top 20. And Seberg going down, getting taken down by Edward Moore as well. So you gotta be careful so you don't slide out because that can lead to other things. Here can ignore him also going down. So let's see here if we move up. So but still battle here between Sebastian Jost and Linus Goranson. No, it's only Sundberg now, so it looks like Linus Goranson got away and Sebastian Jost dropped down a position. The Sundberg really close to the edge of the track. Not really where I would recommend to go, but I mean, if that works, that's good. But the wall track looks so different in high quality. They do? Yeah, like I can't see half of those ruts. Oh. oh. Like it, it looks kind of smooth, but when you're racing, you know it's like bumpy. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's really weird. That's it interesting. Yeah, that looks like a highway for me, but yeah, actually yeah. it's like really bumpy. Oh yeah, yeah, I know what it is. I had a pretty shitty piece myself first time around before I upgraded it. Damn, so. I can't wait to like connect, uh, collect all the money. 
Yeah, really? or Sebastian just make a mistake getting into the bag of Ullisenberg alone. Ulle to get away as well as Sebastian went down. Have a battle here between Matthias Liedman and Jeremy Siebold as well. Siebold just leaving me hanging, commenting by myself. Sorry. Until Alanas got here. Did I hear my name? Yeah. Uh, what's up? No, I just said that Jeremy Siebold left me for racing instead of commenting until you came along. So, so Siebold actually getting away a little bit from Matthias. But Matthias wasn't able to do double, triple, triple as well as Jeremy did, so lost a little bit of time there. So another guy on the stream, like <laughs> joined CNA is Jeremy. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he's racing. Good luck. <laughs> Even though the race is ending. It looks like the gap between first and second is pretty much the same. It's still around 14 seconds between. Matt Birkin and Dennis Fjellberg. Matt Birkin in the lead. Then we have Victor Nikod in third, not close. Close behind Dennis Fjellberg. Then we have Clement Lana in fourth, Frank Hesmas in fifth. So, our serious point leader up in fifth. That's pretty decent. So, I want to check the standings here to see. And um, last week, 250, we have. Frank Kassemans getting a total of 45 points, Yannick Muller getting 38. Oh, Frank Kassemans actually going over the berm. And then Fjellberg gaining about second on... Uh, my Matt Birkin. And mine is just going blank. I believe this is the last lap as well, because we have passed the 25 minutes mark, and that was two minutes ago, and I hardly believe that it is. Yeah, it's last lap. Yeah, is that Kellen Brower? Is where am I saying? I have no idea. That is Fjellberg getting sideways as always. Is your family talking? Well, it's your family talking in the background. No, it's my girlfriend and her mom. Oh. Her, her parents are here and visiting. So she is watching while he's streaming? What? She's watching while he's streaming? No, they're just in the background. One bedroom apartment. Yeah, that would be weird, like. Yeah. She must uh, get so bored. So Matt Birkin taking the wheel, win. Then it's Fjell Fjellberg being second. Looks like he's going to end up second as well. Victor Nikot is going to take third. Then it's Fjellberg must be sad about this. Even if it wasn't a win, it was way better than last week. Clement Lana is going to go in in fourth. Frank Hesman seems to go in the f Looks like Robin Flyer is going to get 6. Chase is all 7th. Term Seabolt 8th. <coughs> Daniel Skarsen currently 9th. Matthias Liedman 10th down, I guess. Kevin Lilong, Louis Sundberg, Anton Bernard, Jacob Noran, Sebastian Jost, Errol Mora, Ben Seberg, Janik Muller, Chase Dunnament, Orlean Van der Kapel. That are the top 20 guys still in this race. It looks like all oh, Janik is just going down. Had a battle there between Janik and Ben. If I believe that's 17th. Oh, 
banish the Ascon way off the track. So Ben Seberg taking 17th place, Jenning Muller 18th, Chase Stelmant 19th, and then we have Orlean van der Kapel going to take 20th place.